Need your help, Kristen. We are in Indian Bread Rock still. We're going to be, uh, we hiked up. We're going to make some coffee. Have under, some uh, apple cake. Under a rock. Well, almost under a rock. Yeah. It looks like uh, people made bread here for many years. Those holes are. Yep. <clears throat> Yeah, this is a really cool spot. We've been doing some hiking. Uh, yesterday we hiked up and found a waterfalls. Now we were here eight months ago or so with, we ran- Last in, year sometime. Well, it was this year, but- Was it? Yeah. Oh, time flies. But early. Yeah. This winter. That's where we met uh, Kira and Logan. Yeah. Really yeah, cool they couple. are full time in a road track Zion. Sold everything. Bought a Zion. Yeah, we actually did a video where oh, we, yeah, we, we, we interviewed them right at this exact spot. Yeah. Remember Logan and I were like holding the rock. Yeah, 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 but yeah. We should put a link to that video up here. But yeah, check yeah. out their blog, What Is It Life As We Roam It? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's awesome. They actually went to Alaska, so something we've not tackled yet. But when we do, their posts are going to be a wealth of information for us, so. Coffee time. Don't forget the lip protector. Oh gosh. <laughs> Titanium doesn't, uh, it gets, gets pretty hot. Uh, yeah, have to have those. <sighs> now, tell me again what's in this. Well, I had leftover apples from the apple pie we made. So I thought, what could I make? So I made apple coffee cake, but I didn't put all the sugary stuff on it, so. Good. Mmm. It's very good. I'm glad there's no extra sugar. It's like for a morning coffee cake. It's just kind of a nice. Mm -hmm. The apples gives it plenty of sweetness. And really moist, which is nice. Okay, well, we're gonna enjoy our coffee and cake. Uh, check out our footage from yesterday. We actually hiked in another couple that we met in Florida. Happened to be here a couple weeks ago or three weeks ago or so. They hiked and they found a waterfall here. It had been raining when they were here, so it was just a really good waterfall. So I hiked up there, and I ran up there and found it, and we went up there. And it's, it's, it hasn't been raining, so it's mostly just a trickle with some pools, but it was still really cool. Yeah, so check this out. Now, they were here, like I said, about three weeks ago. They also saw a Coda Mundi, so right? Them. Yeah, if you don't know what that is, Google it. But Wanderland Travelers, if you want to check their video out, they have a YouTube channel as well. But you can compare, you can see the footage they got compared to what we got. I mean, it was like a river runs through it when they were here not long ago, so. Uh, all right, check out what we got yesterday. Oh, you want a crumb? That's because you're a Good girl.
Isn't that cool? It was so surprising to see water in the desert. We don't see that very often, so it was pretty cool. We did not see Cotamundi though. I'm a little bit disappointed in that. I've, I actually have seen one of those in real life. Someone that lived next to us had one as a pet, which was weird, but I would love to see one in the wild. <laughs> All right, we're actually gonna pack up and head out of Indian Bread Rocks today. We have a lot of chores to do, laundry, because we actually, uh, confession time again. Whew, that's breezy. Um, we did not do laundry last time we said we were going to, so uh, it's time, it's definitely time. I hand wash some stuff at camp, but uh, yeah. We need to do the bedding and everything, so. That's on the agenda today. We need water, dump tanks, all that good stuff. So, uh, we'll meet you on the other side, some more fun, hopefully. We don't know where we're going or what we're doing, so join us. <laughs> Same old story around here. <laughs> our chores done and I think we found a good spot here we were gonna go back to Colossal Caves but they only do the night tours on the weekend and it's not the weekend so it's not happening um, what a difference in terrain just a few miles yeah it's the grass grassland it's wow. really cool so there is free dispersed camping out here I believe we are going to go in and check it out uh, this is north of Sonoida Arizona, south of I-8 freeway. Is I or I-10? South of the freeway. <laughs> We're so bad. <laughs> We're so helpful, aren't we? That's why people well, follow us. Why does it say north of Sonoida? <laughs> if you Google Sonoida, this is north of Sonoida. People follow along us to learn all these tips and tricks. And... No, this is the wrong channel for that folks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's see if we can find a spot. This is gonna be cool.
This is a very interesting terrain. I keep on thinking I should see a giraffe out here or something. It's like the plains like, of Africa, yeah. Uh -huh. I miss the plains down in Africa. Class A. Mm -hmm. Really cool. I guess they have spots. Designated spots. Yeah. Here's one. This is. Mm, no, that's just the road to spot. There might be more spots down there. Scope this out. It is definitely busier than I anticipated out here. Cool. Let's find a spot. Oh. This is where we finally ended up. They found my ski. Oh, Pistol's happy. Yeah. You carving out Hi. a spoon? Hi. <clears throat> yes, yeah, done. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, I found this uh, green mesquite log here. Cool. And uh, mesquite's not something I've ever worked with with anything. Um, not a lot of mesquite in Montana and Oregon that I've ever seen. So anyway, I chopped some blanks out of it. I was thinking, I kind of like the idea of following just the natural grain of the wood, not trying to make everything perfect symmetrical. Yeah. And so like this one, maybe a spoon where it actually kind of follows the grain. Yeah, that'd be cool. You know, like a, like a right and left handed one or something. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. So, what are you eating? Hey, what are you eating? Get over here. What are you eating? So we're just out here hanging out in the, what we decided this was? the African, African jungle or no. tundra. Yeah. Um, so that campground that we went into was completely full. I mean, there was maybe one tiny little pull off spot that was right next to somebody else. Just in dirt though. Tons of RVs over there. <clears throat> so we actually drove in the opposite direction about three miles and we found some just dispersed spots out here. Yeah, it's all BLM land. They just mm -hmm. have actually have a, a camp spot. Over yeah. there, but this is still there's one camper way over there, and that's it. Yeah, maybe about a half mile that way. There's a horse trailer or something, but yeah, yeah it's just all BLM land, so this is cool. Yeah, it's... we we rolled in last night, and man, when that sun goes down, it gets so cold just instantly cold. So I just snuggled up inside, played guitar, made some dinner, went to bed kind of early. So today, we're actually headed to a harvest host. This is going to be the first, we actually, are, it was our very first harvest host we ever went to. Yep, we've been in, stayed at uh, wineries, harvest hosts, um, all over the U.S. Didn't we do some in Canada too? Yeah, I think so, yeah. But all the way, I think the farthest east was either New York, I know Pennsylvania, but the very first winery we've ever stayed at at harvest host was Sonoida Winery, which is like 20 miles yeah. from here, so we kind of have to go. Yeah. Plus, really good wines, really good wines there, so... So. Yeah, that's where we're headed today. So, I gotta get a run in. Yeah, somewhere. Do some wine tasting. Yep. A little bit of winery today. Live it up, man. Piss up. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? What do we got? What do we got? Well, I chopped out the, as far as I can go with the axe. So, yeah, so you did all this with the axe and now you'll start using your yeah. two carving knives. So I just kind of followed the grain. I like that. Like a right-handed spoon. I like the curve. Yeah. That's pretty cool. We'll see. I've heard that this stuff cracks pretty easy. So uh, okay. sometimes you get a lot of work into a spoon, I guess, and then find a crack. crack so this i don't know i had a piece of it's done it's done all right let's get out of here all right winery time hi <laughs> we made it to sonoida winery uh like we mentioned we were here two years ago right when we first started out in the van uh i'll put, actually try and put a link to that video up here somewhere um yeah, so Dave did a wine tasting. This is where we are parked for the night. 
Pistol seems to be thoroughly enjoying herself. It's a good spot, huh, puppy? I don't know where we're headed after this. Tombstone. Oh yeah, we're going to Tombstone. And then we're also, I think, going to drop down into Bisbee. Bisbee. I want to say Bigsby. That's not it. Bisbee. Oh, it's a little breezy. Um, we've not been there before. And I hear it's really cool. And I kind of looked it up online. Looks like they have the Christmas lights up. So I've been kind of missing that. That'll be fun. I could just sit here for a few days. Yeah, but we're only here for the night. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, worth mentioning though. So Harvest Toast... We paid $49 for one year, I think it is. Their price for membership is going to be going up January 1st to, I think, $79? Something like that. Could have that wrong. Um, so if you want to join, now would be a good time before the end of the year just, just to save some money. Oh, do we not have the correct bone out here for you? I know you've got three that are going here. Yeah. <laughs> this is the one we're after. Is that the one? Apparently that's the one. You little munchkin. It's like a boneyard out here. One, two, three. She sometimes likes the big one, sometimes the little one, and sometimes the middle one. That's right. <laughs> She's Goldilocks. We should have named her Goldilocks. <laughs> All right, we will catch you guys on the other side. We'll see you in Tombstone. Maybe I'll strike it rich. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. Carry on.